Welcome back, my beautiful friends. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Up next in our Cannabis Culture segment brought to us by Hi There, we will be covering the latest in cannabis edutainment. One of Hi There's focus is on the development of the platform and Hi There app, where you will find a cannabis-friendly social network. And together, I help them pave the way even further for the century-old plant as we need to educate the masses on its uses, clarify the misconception, and debunk the myths. With a personal appreciation for cannabis and an unwavering passion for advocacy, Hi There and I are aiming to change the mainstream perspective around medical and recreational cannabis. And today, I have the pleasure of chatting with Hi There's CEO, Leo Guild, who is joined by Beast's Chief Marketing Officer, Dustin Perfetto, known by his stage name, Nump. He's also a Filipino-American hip-hop artist. Most importantly, Beast is working on making cell phone service free, and they've been doing this for the last five years. According to the amount of personal data we share with companies when we use our cell phones, it is endless, and big data companies sell that for billions of dollars every year. Now, not only is Beast Mobile going to provide people with free cell phone service, they are going to pay people for that very data positively contributing to data sovereignty for the original producers. Basically, the future of mobile is free with Beast. Now let's chat data and the fundamentals of data sovereignty. Now, the need to disrupt technocracy and place back power to the people has never been more prevalent than now. Now, and will our data remain safer in the digital age? Those are the golden questions. Well, Beast is now paying people for that data contribution. And here, welcoming to the show now, are our two superstars, Leo Gill and Nump. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Hey, Zen. Hey, Nump. We're blessed. We're blessed. We are blessed. Okay, gentlemen, according to Statista, this is interesting, the current number of smartphone users in the world today hovers at around 7 billion, and this means that that's about 84% of the world's population owning a smartphone. Okay, so Leo, I'm going to start with you. Talk to me about the partnership between Beast Mobile and the Hi There platform and community. Um, I'm hearing that the Hi There app will be preloaded onto these Beast devices, and some major free perks are involved. Tell me what's going on. Yeah, thanks, Ann. Yeah, we're super excited to partner with Nump and Beast team. You know, when I'm always looking for innovative, disruptive technology partners. And the fact that I get my phone bill every month and it's just insane, right? I, 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 I'm with one of the big carriers. They, they tell me it's going to be $250 a month. It's $700 a month, no matter what. And uh, the fact that Beast allows you to buy a phone and never pay again, I think is super disruptive. And we're looking for innovative companies to get distribution. So we want all of these customers to have our app. We want to bring these two great communities together. And we thought we couldn't ask for a better partner with uh, other than the Beast team. And uh, to have Nump and his colorful personality out there, I thought this is a win-win. Oh, for sure. And, you know, the boom in internet enabled mobile phones, phones, apps and other, you know, high tech gadgets in recent decades has led to an explosion of personal data that firms now harvest, they process, they sell it. And the Bank for International Settlements, known as BIS, it's uh, there was a, a paper published last month said that while most countries already have some laws around data use, most individuals still are not aware of what is at stake or their rights, you know, or don't even are not even aware of their rights over their data. Um, so this is a, a big thing in terms of where we're going with this collection. Numb, welcome to the show, my friend. So nice to hello, have you hello. on. How you doing? Good morning. I'm, I'm doing great. Okay, let's chat about some of the um, some of what's going on in the cell world. Okay, so in 2022, including both smart and feature phones, the current number of mobile phone users is, like I said, about 7 billion, which makes Everybody. like, which makes nine, two, 92% <laughs> of people in the world, uh, cell right. phone owners, right? right. And feature yes. and the, the most important thing is Beast Mobile is giving away free phones and paying people for this data, so to speak. Please explain. Yeah, well, it was all it's always been our, our, our theme and our idea. Like you should never be paying a cell phone bill because of how much uh, uh, revenue is generated through these mobile ads, billions of dollars. And, and the customer gets nothing back. So 
We want to gamify cell phone service. We want to reward the customer for data that you do share and anything that's, uh, that's generated, here's your piece. On top of that, here's free cell phone service and here's some data and just, you know, do what you got to do. Save money. There you go. Because, you know, if you look at the United States, for example, where most big tech firms are based, um, still has no ver it's still the u.s has no overarching consumer privacy loss in instead we rely mm -hmm. on on a, on a patchwork of state and sector rules so it is important that if you're giving away this free service the most important thing is you're retaining the community of your users in some capacity to appeal to them the way that and, and i'm going to bounce this back to leo that engaged community of people that beast mobile is now cultivating and curating this offer to is that very loyal uh cannabis friendly consumer that high there prides itself on talk to me about this amazing connection leo yeah you know i always look about the i always you know whether i invest in a company or i partner with a company i look at the people behind the team the, the the brand itself and i know lee hunt the ceo for quite some time i know marshawn lynch came in and partnered with Nump and Lee and built this thing up. And I thought, you know, they're just trying to do a good thing. They're trying, they're trying to give people more for less. And, and that's what we're trying to do. It all starts with the consumer. When I tell my team, think what the consumer wants first and build products for them. And the money in the business will eventually follow. And I know that sounds a little bit different than most companies think. They're always thinking about the bottom line. But I think if you focus on your customer and do right by them and earn their trust, like we believe we have done, and we haven't made all the right moves, our customers, they're forgiving, but they know we're trying for them. Exactly. If they're unhappy, they let us know we, we, we take action. And I think those two missions that we have and Beast have are a perfect partnership to create something really special. And I can't wait to get, get going next month. Yeah, I love it. Nump, Nump, I'm going to ask you this very specific question that totally ties into the demographic that you market to. But the new kids on the block are Generation Alpha, right? These are kids okay. born after 2010 to predominantly millennial parents, such as myself, mm -hmm. with much more disposable income. Um, following their, their Gen Z predecessors' footsteps, so to speak, they're already heavily immersed within the digital world and were born with screens all around them. Now, by the yes. end of 2024, Four, there's going to be more than 2 billion people around the world classified as Generation Alpha. And many already have access to their own technology that they use not only for entertainment, but for education and to communicate with other young people. And they're also starting to interact with social media. This generation is already aware of how critical diversity, equality and inclusion are in the world. How important is it in your point of view for Beast Mobile to tap into that demographic? Uh, very important. You got to look at the screen time. These kids and, and young adults are on their phone nonstop, just like we are today, you know, and that's why I love our platform, because we're going to be rewarding people for stuff they do on their phone every day. So talk to me about that rewarding process. How are you gamifying and monetizing this and sending it way back to the people? Yeah, simple stuff like say you're looking at the weather, uh, uh, an ad will pop up, you swipe that, boom. And then it just you'll see uh, a rewards uh, into your account like, oh, you just made 25 cents off looking at an ad or you could do a survey and then you get X amount of dollars for doing a survey or, you know, or you could and then you could exchange that for either more high, uh, high speed data, whatever you choose. It's up to you. I love it. That's a great description. This is very, this incentivizes the generation, yes. especially um, a lot of the, the generations that are of the mindset that they just want to continue to monetize their time off of GameFi. Um, Leo, this is an interesting question. You're a big data guy. So at High There, the marketing is geared towards a slightly older crowd, okay? Emerging developments in big data analytics like social media analytics and text analytics are expected to open up new opportunities. And besides, because social media is more effective um, than traditional advertising, many organizations have made it their primary source for different advertising campaigns, events, and product promotions. Talk to me about High There's uses and how high there's going to use the data and create a safe ecosystem, not only for the members, but also the businesses evolved, because I know you have Canna growth. Sure. Yeah. So number one, we want to use data to learn about our audiences, to give them the right experience. And 
first thing we're going to do is we're going to give away one cell phone every month to our users. And very much like Beast, we like to have fun. And as you know, we have a bunch of doctors that participate in our company to help educate our consumers. So we're going to kick off a series of fun games every day at 420. And at the end of the month, we'll, we'll give away a Beast Mobile phone, compliments of Beast Mobile. And uh, we're really excited about that. And that's going to go on for one year. Right. So by using that data to connect the right brand or the right friend or the right girlfriend or the right topic with our customers, that is the premise of everything that goes behind giving the consumer the most ex the best experience possible. And it yeah. all revolves around data. All of it, all of it. And when you go back, and this is an actually a, a fitting question for Nump, who is, um, you know, chief marketing officer there at Beast Mobile. But Nump, it looks like smartphones are one upping their their master's degree in location tracking with a doctorate oh, yeah. in tracking. Did you know this? Your cannabis usage. So according to a small recent uh, study, nice. data, <laughs> data from your smartphone can be used to predict if you've been smoking cannabis at up to 90% accuracy. And any potential just in, in time intervention could prove to be the catalyst for more debate over privacy violations in a social climate already running really low in the trust department. But if, if this latest smartphone siren can be used as a tool to work towards folks' as well being, it could create a new positive kind of buzz. But it's kind of like a catch twenty two. What are your thoughts on this? I think it's a, uh, I think it's awesome and positive for the industry itself. Because if you know what your consumer and what time or what uh, flavor or when are they whatever they're doing with the cannabis space when they're purchasing, it's awesome. Because then now with the Beast Mobile platform, we see that we could send them now ads or deals through their whatever their local dispensary or delivery is. And might I add. You know, now we're working with Hi there. And so, you know, we are the only cell phone company that is actually doing cannabis advertising. That's allowing it. Look it up. No one else is doing it. We are the only ones that support it because it's positive. It's it's medicine. And we don't look at it as a bad thing. Oh, I couldn't agree more. Um, our The sister platform to Hi there, Canagrowth, is doing exactly that. And Leo is very, very in tune with all of that. In fact, we know exactly who the consumers are. We know their demographic. We know their location. And this is not a bad thing. This is mm. actually contributing to the safety of the ecosystem because this data is available to us. Like, for instance, female consumers um, also said they use cannabis to self-medicate for diagnosed conditions, including anxiety, um, anorexia, attention dif difficulties, uh, pancreatic cancer, and post-traumatic stress disorder. And some said um, they had poor success with prescribed pills or therapy and preferred use to marijuana instead. But we know that data because of the technology embedded on the high there platform. And so Leo, we have about a minute and a half left. Talk to me about how important this this data collection is, but how, how you're going to keep it safe, unlike big tech. Yeah, thank you. That is a great point. Um, a lot of people hear data and they think someone's selling their data. It's very important to understand what we do at our company. We use your data to give you better experiences. And then what we do is we anonymize your data through the world's biggest company, publicly traded company. We anonymize the data, it takes all the PII, private information away from that data. And we, 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 we develop models. So a model might look like a person around this age who likes to exercise in the morning, get their latte in the afternoon, and do this with their kids in the evening is more likely to maybe engage with this type of brand or this type of product. And that is the, that is the modeling, the behavioral modeling that we, we have developed. And it's really a, 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 an incredible technology to help us figure out what a the right consumer for your brand might look like. And then we test that with advertising and we show an impression against that audience and we watch what they do. And if they don't engage, we kill it and we, we move on to the next. And we start to use big data and machine learning to, del to deliver premium um, advertising and marketing at scale using those behavior models. I love it. This is genius, genius, genius. and brilliant. I we said it. it at the same time. And on that note, we are out of time. So <laughs> I, that was my clock just coming down there. But I just want to thank both of you for coming on. Nump, it was such a pleasure speaking with you. Always, always a pleasure. Likewise. I would love to have Likewise. you come back on. Leo, thank I'm you there. for bringing him on. Cheers, guys. Take Cheers. care. Guys. Thanks so much.
Have Thank a great you. day. Have Bye-bye. a great day. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye-bye. Well, that's the end of that segment. That was our cannabis culture segment brought to us by Hi There. And that was CEO Leo Gill joined by good friend Nump from Beast Mobile. You guys definitely have to check out their website. Head to HiThere.com and also BeastMobile.net for all the free perks. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York. We'll be right back after this.